hi loves welcome back to another video and if you're new here thank you so much for joining me so today i'm going to be showing you guys this look i'm just going to do a quick nail art tutorial and we're just going to get right into the video so let's get started <music> So we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in. I've already prepped my nails and I'm just gonna go in with this color from Born Pretty and it's called Cherry Red and it's absolutely beautiful. I love it, it's so bright and vibrant and it screams winter like, you know, for Christmas and everything like that. Actually, this would go very well for, um, what's that called, Valentine's Day as well. So if you guys wanna go and check this out. Also guys, I always have the links in my description box for all the products that I'm gonna be using in the video, just in case you guys wanted to go and shop them or even if you just wanna have a look and see what they're like, you can just go ahead and check out my description box and they'll be there as well. And you can get these on Amazon, AliExpress, whatever you like. So I'm just going to go over the entirety of my pinky from cuticle to free edge with this color. Um, this is going to be a very simple design. I'm not going to do anything crazy on it, but it looks so stunning. Like you guys are going to see in the end, it just comes all together. And this just shows you that, you know, you can stay simple, but still have something that looks amazing and bomb for your clients or forever for yourself or for whatever you want to do it for now i'm just going to go into my index finger and i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing as i did with my pinky and i'm going to apply this from my cuticle area straight to my free edge i'm going to try my best not to flood my cuticles because we don't want it to become a mess and this color is super pigmented so you only do need one coat but i'm going to do two coats just because i see a few little streaks and I just want it to be nice and even and perfect. So I'm going to go in with a second coat on both nails. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab this color. And this is from their new collection. So it has the color on the bottle, which I really, really love. And this is like a very taupey looking light beige color. It's absolutely stunning. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to go from my cuticle to my free edge with this as well and i just feel like this just kind of brings some warmth in and brings out those cool tones sorry those warm tones in the red because red is such a cool color but it also has like a very warmness to it you know it can be very strong so here i am just giving you guys a little bit of a close-up to show you guys exactly how i tried to get into my cuticle area and try to just gently go around it this color is a little bit more sheer than the red was so i'm definitely going to go in with a second coat onto this color as well and i'm just going to do that both on my ring finger and my middle finger and i'm curing each coat for 30 seconds actually i'm not curing it for a full 60 seconds i will go and do a 60 second cure after i've done putting all the gel polish on but I did a 30 second cure on each finger. Now I'm going to go in with this color. It's a very nice, very light, um, sheer nude color. And it's called the Caged Bird. And it's absolutely stunning. This is my absolute favorite color from Born Pretty. And I'm obsessed with it. So I did two coats of that as well. And now I'm going in with my matte top coat from Born Pretty as well. You guys know I have so many videos on Born Pretty. So if you guys want to see any other colors that I have in my collection from them, you guys can go ahead and check out this video right here. And it'll give you guys a really good idea of how their colors perform. And I also have this video right here as well of another haul that I did from Born Pretty. So you can go ahead and check that out too so i really do love this matte it's really nice and it's very thick i don't know if you guys have ever had a matte top coat and it's kind of runny and it doesn't dry like velvety so this one definitely dries velvety you see that it looks so smooth and pretty so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take that beige color and i'm gonna get some clear acrylic and my clear acrylics from jc beauty concepts because i have a really good code for them and they are a very affordable company and their acrylic is amazing so go ahead and check it out i'll have the link in the description box as well along with my coupon code 
So now all I'm doing is just mapping out where I want my design to go so I can get my lines as straight as possible. And I'm using a fine liner brush for this because it's easier to get some small details in and I really love this brush as well. So I'm going to just put a line on either side of the nail, leaving some space in the middle. Sorry guys, I'm out of frame just a tiny bit here, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just taking the line from the cuticle and straight to the free edge, but I'm putting it a little bit of farther apart from each other. Sorry guys, I was trying to figure out how to word that so it made sense for everybody that's not just me. And I'm going back. I don't really generally like to do this where I go back down the line, but because I was having such a hard time getting in the angle, I just had to do that. So I'm just going to take anything to scoop up the acrylic and just slightly dust it over. The acrylic is going to, sorry, the gel polish is going to suck up that acrylic and that's going to be the 3D effect that's going to be on the nail. So I just took literally a swatch stick and just poured it over i didn't have a spoon or anything on hand i cured it before i went in and dusted it off so i cured it for 30 seconds came out of my lamp and dusted it off now i'm going to go in with some small lines i'm just doing some teeny tiny ones on each side going down kind of in a v shape in a v shape but not connecting them at the middle point so just draw a V, but don't connect it. And then I'm going down the entire nail. And when it gets to the point where I feel like I don't have enough for the second half of the V, I'm just doing one line going across towards the edge of the nail. And I thought I would tuck one right in the back of the cuticle and then one right at the end. And I repeat that for the other side as well, but I'm not showing it in this video because I can't see the other side of the nail when it's under the camera. So I'm going to have to show you guys that at a later time, but you guys get the idea, I hope. Now I'm doing sort of like an S shape going down or like a lightning bolt shape going down the center of the nail. So I'm putting one line on the right side, one line on the left side and connecting it in the middle. So it looks like elongated S. Actually, it looks more like a Z, like a vertical Z instead of a horizontal Z. Okay, and I'm spacing them out just gently. I'm just eyeballing this. There's no like rhyme or reason. It looks good even if they're a little bit too close together, if they're further apart. It looks cute either way. As you can see, the bottom ones are a little bit more closer together, but it still looked really beautiful. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to dust it over with the Clara Acrylic, tap it off maybe dust a little bit more until I'm happy and it's not absorbing anymore and then I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds I just like to lock in the design so it doesn't spread and go anywhere um, before I put it in the light so I'm going to go ahead and cure it and I'm back out and then you guys can see I've already done the other side and now I'm going to move on to my middle finger here I am again mapping out every single line that I want so I'm gonna go from the first dot to the second dot going straight down the nail on the vertical side and then I'm gonna do that on the other side as well and I also wanted my lines to be a little bit thicker so I'm just going over them a couple times to ensure the thickness that I really want I kind of struggled on this side a little bit so I'm so sorry guys because like it's so far away from me I can't see it and then I'm trying to like turn my hand, which is actually better for you because you can actually see what I'm doing that way. I didn't notice this at the time when I was recording, so I'll keep it in mind for the next video to definitely turn it towards me so I can see it, so that you can see it because it did definitely help out a lot. So now I'm going to go back over in the Clara Acrylic and cure this. You can always just go straight into doing the entire design. I just like taking the few seconds to cure just a flash one so i don't disturb my design and i don't have any trouble with it later on because these lines are so close together it would be really hard to do any cleanup okay so i decided to do things a little bit different on this nail so i'm going in with the same s sort of pattern or like the z sort of pattern but now i'm doing it more of like a boxed shape and I'm going closer together with it. So I want them to be really nice and tight 
and I'm going to have a little bit more than the first nail. So the first nail only have a few, but this nail is going to have a ton more going down. And I'm putting the lines right under one another and then connecting it right in the center. There you go. You guys can see really well in that picture. Sorry, in that video clip. And there you go. I'm going to go down the side of the nail and right across the center again. And I'm just going to keep repeating that same pattern over and over again until I get to the end of the nail. And then once I've gotten to the end of the nail, I'm going to go in and you guys will see this shortly. But I'm just going to go ahead and tuck one on either side of the last, last little S. I don't know why I keep calling it an S because it looks really a lot more like a Z to me than it does an S. But I don't know, maybe because it's like a sweater. So it just kind of falls off the tongue as an S for me. <laughs> I don't know. You guys know I'm a little bit crazy, but it's okay. So here you guys can see now I'm just going to go tuck one little one right at the bottom right there, right beside it. And I'll go back into my cuticle area and I'll do the same thing right up there as well. There we go. And now for the side detail, all I'm going to do is just put one small line and then I'm putting a dot right under it, like a little small dot. You guys can use a dotting tool for this. It might be actually easier to use a dotting tool to do the dot, but I didn't want to have to switch out any tools. So I just went ahead and made a dot with my gel polish striping brush and it worked out just fine for me. And I'll do that on both sides and i'm going to go ahead and pour the cuticle sorry i'm going to go ahead and pour the acrylic over the nail again and cure it you guys can see i'm kind of keep pouring it over a few times and that just lets the acrylic kind of absorb into the gel polish so until it creates that 3d effect so now for my thumb i'm going to go over that in just my not polished glossed it clear and that is no wipe top coat and then i'm taking this glitter i actually mixed this glitter myself that's why i didn't show you guys but i mixed holographic silver holographic glitter with some fairy glitter and it turned out to be this absolutely stunning beautiful color so you guys can go ahead and try that out at home and this is the finished look thank you guys so much for joining me and watching and i hope you all like and subscribe on this video love you so much bye now